we're back, everyone, for some more of my All Maria career mode for FIFA 21. And this is the series finale, whereas we are going to be going to this Champions League final against Manchester City. And then after this, we'll look at um, all the tables and that, and all the stats and player attributes and that. And then afterwards, I am going to be look browsing through jobs once again, and hopefully, should we win the Champions League, that should open up a whole avenue of different positions that I can take a different club, whole lot of different clubs, hopefully. I mean, if you look at it this way, I know I'm not going for realism, but if you're looking at it in a realistic sense, Jose Mourinho, when he won the Champions League with Porto, right after that he went to Chelsea and became a legend there. So hopefully if we win the Champions League, that'll open up uh, possibilities to go to more clubs than just Atletico, Barca, uh, Madrid, or Juve. But uh, before we continue on, hope you guys have an awesome day today. Hope you guys are doing well. Just to recap of the team that I am going to be putting out there in the Champions League final, I have made some changes. Nunez is going to be part of this team. Pooj is going to be part of this team. And Carujo is going to be part of the team. With Felipe, Pjanic, and Aubameyang having to settle for backup positions. But uh, this is the team that I'm going to be putting out there against the reigning Premier League champions. But before we continue on, hope you guys have an awesome day today. Hope you guys are doing well. But after this game, like I said, we're going to do all the end of season stuff. And I'm going to sim to the 14th of June. And then we'll look at job positions if there's anything available. Then I'll apply for them. But And that's that's how we'll end this career mode. And then should I take another job, then that will be the beginning of a new career mode. Which is technically going to be a continuation of this one. But... Without further ado, we are going to go ahead and get into this match. Clear skies at the arena Alf Schalke. We'll keep our home kits on. We'll, we'll have their kits on them. Okay, let's see what kind of squad Manchester City has. They got Sterling, Kane, and Silva. Oh, so oh, Harry Kane went to Manchester City. Okay. Um, De Bruyne, Pavard playing as a center mid for reasons. Yango Herrera and CDM. Valverde. Why is Federico Valverde playing where Pavard is? Cancelo out in the right. Um, Kaladu Koulibaly, Koulibaly partnering Laporte in, as a uh, center back. And Ederson in goal. So a rather interesting and weird Manchester City side that we're going to be up against. I'm going to say Robert Tony will be the player featured here. Has to be our captain, man. Okay, game. Wakey, wakey. No, Darwin Nunez. Of course, plays for Liverpool in real life. He knows a thing or two about playing against Manchester City. Actually scored one of the goals in the... Um, Community showed at the beginning of the season that helped Liverpool win that particular trophy. The only trophy that Liverpool is going to win this year, if I'm, if I'm being frank. I mean, those of you that are watching it probably say, Well, you're a Newcastle fan. You guys don't win titles. Never said they did win titles. Yes. So, I, I have a feeling that time will come for the Magpies. I mean, we overachieved as it is with getting to the Carabao Cup final, so that is a big step in the right direction. One of the most beautiful stadiums in Germany, though I am biased as a Hamburg fan. I like the Volkspark Stadium better. You see both teams coming out, walking on each side of the Champions League trophy. Now, will it be decorated with sky blue and white ribbons, or will it be decorated in red and white ribbons? And you can see how both teams got there. As we kick things off here, it is going to be All Maria versus Manchester City. That'd be funny if I was playing as Girona, because Girona is actually a sister club of um, Manchester City. They're both owned by the City Football Group. As Darwin Nunez opens up the scoring.
And speaking of Girona, that is a career mode that I'm contemplating doing on FIFA 23, so... I know right now I'm doing my Union Berlin career mode, but... And of course, I'm going to be doing the uh, National Women's Soccer League. I'm going to be doing a career mode on that. And what I do have to be transparent with you guys. One of the reasons why I did cave in and start doing FIFA 23 career modes... And it's for one reason only, and that is because they did fix the issues that they had at the beginning with dynamic potential. Once I heard that they fixed that, then I was all on board doing the... Oh, is that onside? Nunez, can you do a double? Yes, you can. But yeah, that was pretty much the deal breaker for me, right? That once I heard that dyna dynamic potential was fixed, I'm like, okay, I'm going to give um, career mode a shot again. And then I, my very first one on FIFA 23 was Newcastle. And I saw that everything ran like it's done in FIFA 22 and FIFA 21. I'm like, okay, I'll, I will do a career mode on my channel after all. As Darwin Nunez gets a brace. Already on a hat-trick here in the Champions League final. Oh! Manchester! Oh! 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 Okay, Nunez, can you get a hat-trick? Yep! Manchester City playing absolutely, um... Sloppy right now. Ederson screaming at his back line, and rightfully so. Darwin Nunez is getting a hat trick in the Champions League final. He's making a case wherever I go. My next club. I might actually bring him with me. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. And I think I'm going to go ahead and jump to Sim. Hopefully we don't blow a three-goal lead. Okay, what what does Manchester City's bench look like? Okay, they got um, Zach Steffen, Kieran Trippier they got, Artur, um, Sergio Aguero, Yusuf Atal. wonder if that's Thomas Muller. It has to be number 13. He was number 13 for Bayern. And it looks like Inaki Williams as their backup striker. As Manchester City are passing us to death right now. Oh, come on, number three. Who's number... Uh, a stupid yard. Playing good defense just cannot get the ball off of Manchester City. Can we add a fourth goal here? Looks like we got Darwin Nunez. Can you make it four goals? Okay, we win our corner. I should have taken that corner, to be honest with you. I think next time we get a corner, if and when that happens, I think I'm going to take it. Okay, nice pass. Can we make it four? Yes, we can. Darwin Nunez with four goals in the Champions League final as he scores right before halftime. Stats are pretty much even other than shots and chances. We're really doing a good job limiting Manchester City here. Watch I'll say that and we're going to concede. Yeah, it looks like... Um... Oh, come on, come on. They're going to... Nope. Wow. Okay. Looks like having uh, Valverde at left back isn't working out too well for them. Um... See, Montiel was pretty pretty quiet. Tovan having a quiet uh, Champions League final. Um, I'm going to go ahead and resume. Make sure I don't push the wrong button. Okay, if we get a fifth goal here, then I'll make changes. Okay, can we get... Nope. Wonder who I'm gonna take. Okay, I think. 
might take uh, Thomas off for Pjanic. I think I'll take Carujo off for uh, Felipe. Oh, that's going to be a goal. Yeah. Harry Kane gets a goal for them. Carujo might be going off. Okay, I think I'm going to make some changes now. Uh, Pjanic can come on for party. Felipe can come on for Carujo. And Santeos is going to be coming on for Estupignan. Oh! Number 14, why did you not make a 16, rather? Why did you not make a... Thomas Purdy, why are you not making a run? Okay, I don't know what Rossi was doing there, but... Deflected? Oh! Nice interception. Manchester City playing uncharacteristically sloppy. They're having a howler of a Champions League final. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Get, thank you. No! That's a little bit dangerous. Okay, I think I'm jumping in. Oh! Get the ball, get the ball, get the ball. Get! Robert Tony, get a cat! Get out of my way, whoever you are. Robert Tony, could you put the icing on the cake? Yep, and our captain scores. Get, get and celebrate, you donkey. Oh, 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 that's not good. Nunez, you're probably going to get a yellow for that. Maybe not. No, what kind of pass is that? As we stop its time, not a whole lot. But there we go. Manchester City's wait for their first Champions League title is going to go on even longer. It's all Maria are Champions League champions. And a very lackluster final as Kolobali looks freaking pissed. And rightfully so. That was... Those were the most disjointed performances I've seen from a big club in recent memory playing FIFA. I mean, come to think of it, I think it was not in my Nottingham Forest career that I absolutely smashed Manchester City, and I believe it was the Community Show. As Pep gets it absolutely wrong, and we get it absolutely right here, David De Gea, former Manchester United uh, goalkeeper. Probably loving the fact we beat Manchester City for this. Lucas Robertoni, an original, um, a, a real-life Almeria player, gets to lift the trophy. And that caps off a beautiful career mode with this team. And I still need to figure out who I want to take with me when I go to my next club. Should have taken off, should have muted music because I'm probably going to get copyright for this. But whatever. Ooh, what a beautiful celebration. Oh, Maria joins Real Madrid and Barcelona as being Spanish clubs that win the Champions League. I'm pretty sure Valencia has never won a Champions League. 
I know Villarreal have won the Europa League, but no Champions League. You see the team huddled around the Champions League trophy? All oh, Maria are your winners. A beautifully played game. Yeah, I forgot to turn off music for streaming purposes, but you can see the stats. Manchester City actually had more possession, but they didn't take it to the advantage. There with Nunez with a perfect 10 rating. He did get a yellow card for that. But yeah, what? Okay, on there it has Valverde playing a center mid, but Pavard being as a center mid and Cancelo being a, a right center back, it's... Yeah, that's... Yeah, Pep got that absolutely wrong. But yeah, all Maria are your Champions League winners. We are not doing a post-match interview. Okay, tournament prize money. Beautiful shot of Robertoni. She was posing with the trophy. Oh, Maria looked to claim second trophy or third trophy. Because the Copa del Rey does count. But we're gonna go ahead and sim ahead just a tiny bit. We're gonna go ahead and sim- we're gonna sim the fourth. Doesn't really matter what happens now because we're not playing anymore with this club. But, uh, let's see. Player contract, De La Haas, a player for all Marie in real life. But take a look at the final table. We did end up finishing ahead of Barcelona and Real Madrid by 15 points. We are Centurions. Scored 103 goals, only 27 conceded, 34 wins, 2 draws, and 2 losses. Atletico Madrid does take the final Champions League spot, so see that's going to have to settle for Europa League alongside Villarreal. Uh, don't forget in FIFA 21, Conference League was not a thing yet. Relegated spots are Alaves, Osasuna, and Girona, as Granada survived by the skin of their teeth. Super Cup, or Super Copa, won by us. Copa de España, you can see we beat Athletic Bilbao. Super Cup, Inter beat PSV. A recap of the Champions League, we went perfect in the group. 20 goals scored in 6 games. Manchester City, of course, finishing. I did not. Do How did it not dawn on me that they were a group? I can't believe I didn't think about that until just now. Manchester United finishing ahead of PSG. That's a little bit of a laugh. Leipzig finishing ahead of Pomona Couch. Barcelona getting grouped. Madrid topping Group F. Uh, Lille joining them in the knockout stages. Dortmund finishing top of their group. I'm kind of sad. I'm, I'm hoping the Dortmund job comes back up for me to apply for. Because that would be an, an awesome job to take. And Sporting finishing behind Liverpool. Leverkusen getting grouped. Round of 16, you can see we beat Lazio. Quarterfinals, we defeated Atletico Madrid. And the semifinals, we beat Tottenham. And then we beat another... English side of Manchester uh, Manchester City. Europa League went to Barcelona. I was just going to say Barcelona because they're in that competition. They end up knocking out Hoffenheim. Fair play to Hoffenheim. World Cup I don't care about. Okay. Top goal scorer was Antoine Driesman with 27 goals in 38 matches. We are as of all behind him with 25. Our highest goal scorer was Florian Tovan and Darwin Nunez, both, both with 18. Top assist getter was Diego Rossi with 10, uh, one behind Eden Hazard. 
top clean sheets to Stegen, 16 through 38 matches. De Gea getting 12. And Silva with 6. So combined, they had 18 clean sheets, which is pretty impressive. Copa de España, Zalorain was our top goal scorer there with 5. Gervahal with the most assists with 4. You see Gomez, Zalorain, well, Nunez with 3, Gomez and Zalorain with 2. Most clean sheets, Thibaut Courtois with 4. Silva had 1 clean sheet in that competition. Champions League top goal scorer Lewandowski and Sala both with nine. Nunez tied with Hazard and second with eight. Tovan was seven. Tovan had a, a largely disappointing Champions League final, admittedly. Rossi with six assists in the Champions League. Okay, let's see. Uh, De Gea with three uh, clean sheets. Let me take a look at what happened in the Segunda División. Or La Liga Smart Bank. It's going to be Rio Vallecano and Eber going back top to the top division with uh, Leganes, Sporting Gijon, Malaga, and Cadiz battling out for uh, uh, promotion playoffs. We only have two players left in our youth academy. Just look at the attribute real quick. Okay, recap. We started off with a budget of 157 million. We made quite a bit of money through player sales, so I was pretty happy about that. Okay, transfer history, I'm going to go through that. Bunch of players going out on loan. Which, it says there's a, a, a Euro there, but it was just a, sweet, a straight swap for Robin Cock. Because I was not comfortable with an 81 rated center back. None of my, none of those three signings, other than, well, Pjanic made an appearance in the final, but Obama Yang and, um, Felipe didn't come. Uh, actually, Felipe came on, too. So, Obama Yang was the only one of those three signings that did not make an appearance. Draxler, I, I sold to Benfica. Doesn't he play for Benfica in real life, though? That, I, th I think he does. So, that's kind of fitting. Would you consider Julian Jackson to be a failed wonder kid? I don't know, that's kind of a tough one. And in our big signing, other than the three that we did in January, David De Gea, we did, uh, we swapped Pacheco plus 35 million for him. But last but not least, we are going to go ahead and look at the squad. Darwin Nunez, 30-6 through 38. Fantastic season for him. Plus 4 growth. Tovan, 25-9 through 35. Robert Tony, our captain, 17-9 through 40. Zala Ryan, 15-12 through 28. Some very impressive numbers here. 14-19 and 39 for Diego Rossi. And just uh, Ezekiel Burko, 13-7-32. Now I'm just going to scroll down here. Does anybody in particular that you want to look at? El Balotor is groomed by Ford Osasuna. That's awesome. Get to see these players one last time before I move on. Only problem with me changing clubs is that because I trained these players so well and got their overall so high... I pretty much got it where I'm pretty much... It's got to be hard for me to afford any of these players.
And we have a big squad. Rosich could have gone out on loan, but whoever came in for it put in their request a little bit too late. And then we're going to look at player attributes for the final time. Again, if there's anybody that you want to look at, you can just go ahead and pause the video. As we take one final look at these players, I, I, I'm actually kind of, I'm well, not kind of. I'm very happy and proud of this Armoria side that we've been able to build. And for the most part, the growth on this team is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, you got a lot of players that play for Armoria in real life, like Malero and Robertoni growing, and you get a lot of people that used to play for Party. I mean, used to play for Armoria, like Party, joining a club and making an impact for us. And then we got some of the the new signings, like Obama Yang and that, and uh, De Gea that was able to make a difference. Tovian went up to an 86. In one week, Dara Nunez will be an 83. But that is it. Well, it's not it yet. That is it by looking at this Almeria team. Which I think I'm going to go ahead and save. And then what I'm going to do... Let me, let me just sim ahead a little bit. We sim to the ninth. I just gotta say player contracts. Yep. Again, I'm not, I don't care about that. We're gonna sim to the 14th. Player contracts expiring. Oh, players on international duty. I'm gonna go ahead and save. And then once I do that, we're going to browse jobs and see what we can find. Hopefully we can get a better variety. Okay, Atletico Madrid, Barcelona, Real Madrid, PSG. Wow. You gotta be. I, I gotta have better jobs than that. I, I'm gonna send ahead a little bit more. Let me send ahead to the twentieth. I might not. I might just end the career mode here, because I'm not gonna be going to a team that's already established, like those those teams right there. Okay, we're back to uh, Pomani Calcio, which. Hmm. I know Juve is struggling in, is struggling in real life right now. They would be an interesting team to do a career mode on. It would only be for one season, though. Because I'm not going to any... I, I, it would be a snake move, in my opinion, if I went to a team already in Spain. Because, of course, Almeria is a Spanish team. Like, I wouldn't want to go to Atletico Madrid. I, w I definitely would not want to go to Barcelona, and I wouldn't want to go to Real Madrid. My only big thing against Pimani Calcio is, of course, they're not licensed. But I'm... Wow. I might... Like I said, it's only going to be one season, and, I'm, and then after we're done, then we'll go ahead and... Switch jobs at the beginning of the next season, but... Yeah, I'm not... I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm going to apply for this job, but I'm not gonna be necessarily excited about it. Yeah, because I'm not... I'm gonna go ahead, apply... 
Hopefully I gave myself enough time to get... Okay, thank you for your interest in our uh, advertised position. After careful consideration, the board of directors would like to formally offer you the manager job here at Pomani Council. We look forward to hearing from you at your earliest convenience. So, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we're going to be going over to Italy, so... Thank you so much for watching this All Maria career mode. I had a blast doing it. I've taken this team as far as I possibly can. I Back-to-back -back Liga titles, back-to-back -back Copa uh, del Rey champions, Super Cup, the Spanish Super Cup we won, and most importantly, we won the Champions League. But we are going to go ahead and accept his position. And with that, thank you so much for watching this. Hope you guys enjoyed this series and are looking forward to, for, to seeing me do what I can with this Pomani Council side. And I will see you guys again next time.